Hey guys, I'm Will, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm working on something very different but super exciting. One of my old friends from the ambulance service, one of my old friends from the ambulance service, a paramedic I used to work with in Cambridge, has asked me to restore some, some old boots of his. These are not your typical boots, these are boots made in the 1950s, so 70 something years ago, 70 years ago and they were used during the French Algerian War. They're, they were dry stored and covered in wax, but here they are. They're not in amazing condition, but they're definitely something I can work on. And I'm super excited to bring you along with, the, uh, with me. Um, all I know is that they were used during the French Algerian War they um, were bought back and my old colleague bought them on a um, army surplus website well military surplus i don't know if it was army i assume it was a surplus website and obviously there's two of these so i will be restoring these I'm not going to take them to sort of a shiny, like new condition. I don't think they're they're right for that. I'm going to clean them up as best I can. I'm going to strip the wax off them, um, and I'm going to bring back some of the suppleness because, as you'll see, the tongue is quite crispy. They're solid. They haven't been worn in a long, long time. I'm um, not going to do anything to the interiors of them, but I am going to try and give them a new lease on life. So, let's uh, crack on, shall we? Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do, we've got the boots here. I've already taken a set of laces out, we're going to do one boot at a time. First thing we're going to do, give it a really really good brushing. Get any loose dirt off. Using a horsehair brush made by Saphir. Is in frame, good. Definitely not my boots, these are gigantic. See all that dust coming off, can't you? Undo these buckles. And this is sort of a flap that goes over the front of the shin. Okay, now that's clean. So now that these are brushed off, we're going to use Saphir's Renamat. There's a fluid. You can see it's separated there. I'm going to give it a shake in a second. The Sophia Renamat is a cleaning fluid designed for smooth leather. We're now going to shake this up because it's not shaken. Like I said, it's a leather cleaner. So it's designed to strip stuff off the leather. There we go. That should be fine, nice and consistently white all over, is I've got a cotton cloth here, this one's from Smith's, a little bit on there, don't want to use much, Let's put that lid back on because I don't want to spill that all over my desk, move that to the side. Now, we'll start working that in.
and as you can see very dirty pretty sure this stuff is solvent based so if you're using it yourself and restoring some boots at home make sure you use a ventilated room We finished the initial saddle soaping. It took about five of these, which is kind of gross, but there's 70 years of dirt on them. So we're gonna let them dry. We're gonna let them fully dry, and then we're going to start um, restoring them. We're gonna uh, build up the layers of oils and waxes and things in them and uh, make them look nice. Right, that's the Renapore put on. Just gonna let that absorb in. It's very oily and greasy at the moment, but it just needs to absorb in. And then off to the next stage of the off to the next stage of the restoration.
and that's the second coat of cream. This time I used Smith's Leather Balm, which just has all natural ingredients, some oils and waxes, and let that sit for another sort of 10-15 minutes to let that soak in, and I may need to do another coat after that as well. That's the first coat of Smith's, looking really, really good compared to how they were before. So, I'm going to do one more coat of Smith's and leave that on for a little bit. Smith's is this stuff, if you're wondering. I buy it from Aura Men Leather. I'll leave a link down below. Use it on everything, wallets, belts, bags, everything. And uh, so yeah, we'll do another coat, let that settle in for a while, and then uh, we'll be nearly done. Thanks so much for watching. We've now restored the first of the two boots. This one is the easier of the two, looking really nice now. Unfortunately, because of the time it took to do the first one, it would just take too long for one episode and uh, have one episode on YouTube, and therefore we're just gonna do two instead. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss part two of this restoration series. On the, on the 1950s era military boots used in the French Algerian War. So thanks so much again and I look forward to seeing you next time.